first of all, I think smart cities always start with people. How do we make people's lives better? It's all about making sure that we're using data and information in a way that helps people's lives and deliver services better. You know, a smart city is a city that gets back to the basics, uh, takes care of the kind of basic city services that people depend on, but does it in a quicker, cheaper, smarter way. In other words, it's still picking up the trash, it's still protecting our streets, it's still lighting you know, the ways that we drive through and the sidewalks that we walk on. Everything that we do in Racine, we do with data. So we use the data that we get from a variety of resources to determine how we're going to work in everything from housing to roads to crime. And we blend all that data together to try to create the most efficient, effective way of creating these new opportunities as we can. It's about being connected and being responsive to our citizens. How can we build an infrastructure that allows us to respond to our citizens' needs, finding ways that we can leverage uh, the, the public purse in partnership with some of our, citizen, uh, our, our private citizens to create an environment where, where innovation and creativity thrives. In order to be a smart city, one of the things you have to do is you have to collaborate internally and externally. We've taken down the walls and the silos inside City Hall in order to be more efficient in how we look at things. But we've also reached out to our private partners to work with them in order to uh, draw some conclusions and to do some things that we couldn't do without private partners and input. When we tear down all the walls, we communicate effectively and consistently and collaborate. That's when we get things done.